Hi, this is Mr. Manley, and this is a video on finding the equation for a quadratic function. So I always say that a big part of finding functions in our study of functions is going from the equation to the graph, and then another part of it is going from the graph to the equation. So in this video, I want to take a look at finding the equation. And this begins with knowing this general form of the equation, uh, y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k, which is kind of like knowing y equals mx plus b for a linear function. See, with the, a linear function, we're going to find the slope, and then we're going to use a point to find the intercept. So hopefully you that seems very familiar to you. With a quadratic, we are going to use the vertex, and here... If you look to the upper left, my vertex is 4, negative 1. We're going to plug that in. So I'm going to have uh, y is equal to a times x minus the x-coordinate of the vertex squared plus uh, the y-coordinate of the vertex. So that is how that equation works. So listen to that again, x minus the x-coordinate of the vertex. So I get x minus 4, and then I do y plus the y-coordinate of the vertex. So the y-coordinate of the vertex is negative 1 here, so it's plus negative 1. So notice there's a little bit of a difference there where I'm, I'm subtracting the x-coordinate of the vertex, and I'm adding the y-coordinate of the vertex. And if you understand fu functions and transformations, that, that can make sense to you if you take a look at that a little more closely. Uh, and then now we're at the point where I need to find this a here. I need to find that a like when I find the b in a line. And I'm going to find that by plugging in a point that I know. So the point that I know is given right here, 2, 3. And I'll plug that in with the 3 for y and Oops, I missed the x, didn't I? So we'll plug in the 2 for x. Right there. And, and I don't have to write it plus negative 1 anymore. I can just write minus 1, right? Okay? So there you can see everything is everything's filled in except for the a. So we just need to solve for a. And we end up with a equals 1. So we'll put this all together and say that the equation for our graph is y equals 1. Don't really have to write that 1, right? Times x minus 4 squared minus 1. And that's the equation for the graph of our function. It's really as simple as that. And you should be able to find the now be able to find the equation of a quadratic if you're given the vertex and some additional point